Hi, I'm Charles with Harlan Aerobic Septic Services, and today we're going to take a few moments to discuss on how to maintain your aerobic system properly. On the control panel, you'll find a couple of switches, possibly three. These are alarm toggle switches. You can test your alarm simply by depressing the switch down. That'll cause the alarm to go off. The amber light is aeration. The red light is high water. If you have a system that has one red light, that will indicate, indicate both high water and aeration problem. To indicate which problem you're having with the one light system, you'll simply need to remove the pump tank lid that sits next to the chlorination, the chlorinator, to see how high the water is. If the water level is low, that would generally indicate an, an aeration problem. There are several things in your household that should never enter the system harsh chemicals such as cleaners and bleaches going down the drain. Those can kill bacteria in the aerobic system which in turn creates a smell and or odor. Also paper towels, baby wipes, prophylactics, tampons, pads, syringes, grease, hair, those things should never enter the system. They can eventually make their way to the pump tank which causes a sludge level which in turn can ruin the water pump. Garbage disposals if you have one, minimal use. You should never scrape a whole meal into the garbage disposal, grind it up, and send it to the pump tank. It, it will ruin the water pump. There are certain toilet papers you, want, you do not want to use, such as quilted northern, Charmin, thick toilet papers like that. You want to use a septic safe toilet paper like Angel Soft. No baby wipes, no paper towels, not anything that can't break down and go away inside the trash tank. If you have an aerobic system and you're having a smell issue and the aerator is working, there's no alarm there, you can purchase enzymes through uh, Lowe's. They're called Robic. You simply flush them down the toilet. Never use Red X. Red X is not designed for aerobic systems. Uh, a good rule of thumb on pumping the system out is every three to five years. The more people that live in your house, the more often you should pump it out. If you have four people in the house, let's say, every three to five years is fine. If you have five, six people, I would say every two to three years. On setting your sprinkler head, you may have to dig out around it a little bit with a shovel or a hand shovel and simply just remove the plug of grass, set it off to the side, take the old head out, just like that, take your new head, Set it to whatever desired rotation you want. Once you have it set, pull the purple ring down, hold it to where you want it to spray. While holding the head up, screw the purple ring down so your sprinkler head doesn't move and stays in the same place at whatever degree of rotation you wanted. And that's how you set a sprinkler head. This is the chlorination system where you're going to pour your bleach and or put your chlorine tablets in. If it's a liquid chlorinator, generally you'll have a label on it stating liquid chlorination. If it's a chlorination system that takes tablets, it's going to be two to three tablets a month. And you'll simply drop them inside the tube. If it's a bleach system, you'll simply pour in three gallons of bleach a month in the chlorine cap. On your chlorination system, you can purchase uh, chlorine tablets from Lowe's. They're called Norweco tablets. They sell them in 10 pound buckets. You can also purchase them from us. Uh, the bleach, you wanna use uh, non-scented Clorox bleach for chlorinating your system. If you have a drip system, chlorination is not needed due to the fact that the water is pumped and stays underground. You'll just simply take the screws out, lift the box open and you'll find the compressor. Now, we are in Oklahoma and the black widow loves the air compressor because of the insects that live in and around it. So if you do open these up, be mindful they like to live around the compressor. Simply take the screw up, screw it up out of the top, take the lid off and you'll find the air filter. That one's dirty, needs to be cleaned out. You'll just basically uh, rinse out and or use a air, air compressor, air hose blow the dust out. Once it's clean, you'll put it back together 
just like you found it and screw the screw down and that's how you clean the filter. Okay, this is how we're going we're gonna to set our timer at this point. Simply open up the control panel box. You'll find a dial, a timer, looks like a clock. You'll set the exact time of your watch or phone to that triangle right there. Simply turning it clockwise to the desired time. It is about 11.30 this morning, so we'll set it there at 11.30. You can kind of get a gauge here on that. 11.30, and you're going to find your AM, which is right here. That's going to be 6 a.m. You can pull those tabs out all the way to 1 a.m. This is the time when the pump will come on and spray, and this is the exact set time of the timer. On this tab here, if it's in the up position, that means your pump will run any time the float goes up in the up position. If it's in the down position, that water pump will never kick on. The timer and that switch have to be set right in the middle for this timer and control panel to function properly with the water pump and its float. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any other questions or comments or concerns, you can contact me at 918 261 That's Harlan Aerobic Septic Services.